Hey everyone, Garrett from Tati and Yoko here. Tati and Yoko is the flagship store for naked and famous denim. We're located here in Montreal. We are up in the warehouse today. We've got a great uh, little show for you. You've got Terry here. We got Vinny behind the camera. We've got Brandon over here. He's with a, he's got a special little program for later. So make sure you stick around to the end and also to learn uh, Terry's secret word of the day. But uh, let's get started and we'll show off what we're wearing today. So we'll start with Vinny as usual. Oh, damn. My eyes are burning right now. There's something in my eyes, but what's good, y'all? Got the bring me on? The white circular knit tee, the thick nat veg belt, you know what I'm saying? And we got the 11 ounce jeans and easy guy. Thank God for the easy guys, because my thighs cannot fit in the weird guy, that's for sure. And we got the Pumas. Shout all right. out to all the big cats out there. <laughs> 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 all right so i'm also wearing the white circular knit tee complete with a hot spicy cheeto stain i have the black thick belt one of my favorite pairs of jeans the elephant five uh nicely faded also complete with repairs and epoxy iso uh stains and then uh on my feet i got some john lofgren engineer boots Terry, what are you wearing? Hey everybody, Terry here. So we're wearing a classic setup. Start off with my good old Bose hat, remembering a local brewery. But importantly, I have this lovely natural indigo tiger short sleeve easy shirt. This is the last of the last. I do hope they come back. This one is a piece of luxury in linen. As usual, I have my special jorts here. My little 10 ounce curries held up by my veg tan belt, which I love the bits. And this is all keeping me cool, just like metal limbs here in this hot summer day here in Montreal. What do you got on your feet, though? Limbs. Can't forget the limbs. Definitely the limbs. The wide boys. Wide boy for duck feet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do Brandon. Oh, hello. I can't do the drip sequence as well as you, Vinny. But uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got the uh, Naked and Famous Denim white Oxford shirt. Uh, Naked and Famous Denim. Uh, you got the uh, buffalo leather belt. These are my uh, vulgar selvage easy guys. Yeah. Ooh, nicely faded too. Fade, f faded quite a bit. Oh, and show off your card holder too. And uh, naked and famous uh, cordovan red handmade card holder. Yeah. Made. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, and some uh, some Nike blazers. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Cool. All right, so if you don't know, today is the very last day of the sale. That is if you are watching this on the day that it came out. So make sure you head over to the website right now. As you can see, we are packed with orders. We are up to our necks. We had over 700 orders just during this weekend. So if you ordered, thank you very much. We are working hard to get your order shipped out as fast as possible. And if you haven't yet ordered, make sure you head over to the website and uh, snag one of those great deals before it is over. If you are watching this sometime in the future, do not worry because we do have some more great sales coming up. We have Canadian Thanksgiving, we have the Black Friday sale, we have the Canada Day sale. So make sure you subscribe to the email newsletter, our Instagram, of course, subscribe to this channel, the Naked Famous Denim YouTube channel, and you'll get all the updates on all the great sales. So Terry, why don't you give us a little warehouse update? Absolutely. So hey, Vinny, in the warehouse, we got jeans walking out the door over here. We are drowning in jeans. It's great. These are exciting, exciting products to get out the door to everyone over here. Um, we're also doing releases week after week after week. So we got releases pouring out here. So I got jeans coming in, jeans going out. We have the new Elephant 12s coming out this Friday. You're going to hear more about them soon. So I've been busy putting them on the shelves, and everyone's busy getting these jeans off the shelves. But Moving on to another main feature over here, we have my special pick of the day. I want to talk all about the gourds. So many gourds, just gourds raining down from heaven. I am so grateful for like all your friendly comments. Uh, we laughed, we cried, we picked jeans. Um, every single order that you write a comment on, we read them, we talk about them, like they all get admired by the staff here. So keep sending in those amazing personalized comments. It's so difficult to choose which gourd order that we want to ship out. But today we got a special one over here. We got a special gourd order going over to Mark in California. Uh, he's doing the filming. Mark, I hope this gourd order finds really well. Let's pick your order right now because we've yes. got two pocket tees. Both of these are cat pocket tees. So these are some last chance items that Mark must have grabbed up during the sale. I'm glad he did because these are fantastic. Look at these, two pocket tees with really cute cats. So we try to do cats all the time. 
those naked and famous super fans out there know that we have a lot of cat products in our history. And because Mark from California is such a big cat fan, let's throw a little special extra to show our special appreciation for a super fan who we chose for this week's word of the day. I have a special order right here. This one's a big cat here. So this is an oldie but a goldie. I pulled one out of the archives last example. This is the old Japanese tigers in black, a lower shirt. So let's take a quick look at that. Those are some big cats. A special, special treat for a special fan. Thank you very much for your order, Mark. And don't remember everybody, I want you to stick around to the end of the video to catch this week's word of the day. Throw that in your comments for a special little surprise. We'll read them, we'll draw a little something, write you a story and appreciate you and you have a chance to win a special prize. So hang around to the end for this week's word of the week. Onwards to the main feature. All right, so as you guys know, we have the Elephant 12 dropping this Friday on tatanyoko.com, 11 a.m. Eastern time. So we thought what better to do than to have the man himself, Brandon, come up and give you kind of a history lesson on all of the elephant jeans. So for those of you who are, you know, maybe new to the brand or you just don't know the whole, the whole spiel on the elephants, you can go from the very before the elephant. Pre-elephant even. To today. All right. Well, we've been around for 15 years. This is our 15 year anniversary. We started the brand in February, 2008. So we're even above 15 years now. And we've been doing heavy denim for quite some time. So ever since, so the first season that we came out was February, 2008, that's spring, summer, 2008. So for our fall, winter, 2008 collection, we had this guy out. This is actually my first ever fabric book. I, I showed this on my Instagram. If you go to Beastfark, uh, you can follow me on Instagram and show some fun beginning stuff. But this was just like an old school fabric book that had a bunch of the first fabrics that we did, one with our logo on. Um, and then we have this, we called it the Super Thick Indigo Cell, which is a 21 ounce denim. It's nice and soft and thick. I actually have a jean from that season two. So this is all the way back. We had these old uh, rivets. It's these old uh, buttons that are uh, actually bigger than the ones that, that, that we have now at 30 line size. So this is some this brings back some uh, some cool fun old memories for me um but yeah this is uh this this was the first ever 21 ounce den denim that we did and it definitely blew people's minds back then like nobody was doing heavyweight denim back then it was us and just maybe a couple japanese brands uh who had super heavyweight denim so yeah this was definitely blowing minds and this was the first iteration of heavy denim for us then in the next fall we came out with the elephant series and I basically just called it that because elephants are heavy and I thought it would be funny. I wish I had the pocket flasher. Have you ever seen the pocket flasher? You have one upstairs. I have one upstairs somewhere. I looked through the it and I... The yellow one. Yeah. We had a pink one too. Maybe that was the first one. The yellow one was maybe the second one. And it just had like a... I just took like a clip art elephant and drew a little poop uh, uh, <laughs> next to it. Have you ever seen it, Terry? Uh, may have seen yes, that. so there's an elephant just like pooping on it and just wrote elephant denim. I used to design all the pocket flashers myself. Now we have real artists uh, designing amazing pocket flashers, but I used to just stay up till like two in the morning uh, designing all the, pla the flashers as best I could, I'm just trying to make it funny and simple. Uh, so this is our first ever elephant and it was 19 ounce and like nice and rigid. I wish you could feel it because it's quite rigid on the outside. It's quite scratchy. It's got the vegetable tan leather patch, a nice thick one, like 10 ounce uh, vegetable uh, uh, tan. Here we did a we did a tone on tone first ever season. I thought probably that it was just since it was so intense, probably should just keep it really simple and tone on tone. Later we started doing more, much more contrast stitch. This still has the old buttons on it too. This is probably a sample. It actually just has a blank button and just the sample tag on it. It has the style number uh, uh, over there, 019193. I used to I used to have all the style numbers memorized actually. But yeah, this was a, this was the first ever of our elephant series. Rigid, rigid on the outside, actually quite soft on the inside. Um, with that natural natural vegetable tan leather patch, a really interesting fading jean. This started it all. I, I wish I had the, the amazing flasher to go with it, but uh, we'll go to number two. Number two is probably the most popular elephant that we did back in the day. This came out a year later and uh, it was heavier. It was 22 ounce. And at the time, that was the heaviest denim in the world. I think like Samurai Jeans maybe had a 21 at the time. Maybe Ironheart had a 21, but no one had a 22. Um, we, we later did also, actually I had the samples upstairs too of other heavy stuff we did. We did a 24 ounce indigo and a 24 ounce black. We actually made those in San Francisco at, 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 the, uh, at the time, uh, which, is, which is pretty funny. Um, and uh, yeah, they were rigid as hell. Really interesting fabric. 
Um, I, I, anyway, I, maybe I'll show that another time. I have those samples upstairs. But this is the, El the Elephant 2, and it just it produced some amazing fades. Um, just the cl classic uh, selvage edge, and like really quite rigid also. Uh, not as scratchy as the Elephant 1, not as rough textured as the Elephant 1, which I, I find really interesting about the Elephant 1. It's kind of it's smoother, and you can see that the, the color also is a bit more cowboy style than the chemical black of the... Uh, uh, of the elephant one but for some reason these just faded so amazingly and they were so heavy and so mind-blowing at the time that it did really well we eventually ended up doing an elephant seven uh i'm using elephant two excuse me revenge and we did reproduce these uh, also in the past uh few years do you remember what year that was when we did elephant seven revenge were you still here yeah yeah, yeah. and we're gonna have a, another revenge aren't we yeah Okay, so that one, that one is the Elephant 2, and oh yeah, Natural Vegetable Town Leather Patch also. Uh, here we have, uh, actually the, the Elephant 3 I think we're, we're missing from, oh no, this is the Elephant 3, sorry. Uh, so here we have the Elephant 3, and this one had a beige weft. It was also, I believe, 21 ounces per square yard. This is a, this is a beat up one, so uh, a, one that a customer sent back, so we thought it would be fun to show. Um, some, uh, some interesting fades on it there, but this is the first time that we started playing really with like brown wefts. Uh, oh, here, the guy's name was... Uh, Raymond Ridon. Uh, so that's kind of fun that he's uh, written his name in there. And yeah, we even have the style number in there, 019393, um, which again, I used to memorize them all. You got his little uh, iPhone fade in there. And this was a bunch of years ago, so... Uh, Damn, got to blow up. This too. is again like iPhone 1 or whatever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure what year all those things came out in. But yeah, that's right. He's got some repairs here also. It looks like he was around your height, uh, Vinny, as well. As these are kind of oh, these are a bit oh, short, sure, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I think uh, I think they look pretty damn cool. Must have been a cool dude. And uh, yeah, natural vegetable tan, 10 ounce vegetable tan leather patch also. Then we have the Elephant 4. So we're going along in order. So we got the pre-elephant, the one, two, three. Now we're on four, uh, which is this one. So also a worn pair. And here you can see it's the first time that we switched over to a black patch. And that's because we did a black interior. So it's our first ever black weft elephant. And of course, you can see that it fades normally because it's not a black core. The you know jeans fade because of the warp, not because of the inside. We've, we've learned that uh, over the years for sure. Um, and I've been teaching that to everyone over the past few years for sure, especially with our core denims, our red core and green core and rainbow core kind of you know, really proves that effect. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see that this one's got the uh, the black weft that's uh, quite faded al already here. This one's got really nice fades too. Uh, he's got a little bit of train tracking over here. He's got the nice whiskering. Look at these combs. Sick fades, bro, as they say. <laughs> Thanks, Garrett. Uh, yeah, we did black uh, military uh, hardware on, on, on there as well. Got like the non-reflective hardware. You got our old school, uh, um, uh, what's it called, label. Yeah, 019343. So this is also in the, in, it came just in the weird guy. Back in the day, we didn't make every fabric and every fit. We kind of just chose, we had to keep the collection, you know, as tight as possible. So we just chose which fabric we liked in which, in which fit. Sometimes we did it in two fits, but rarely did we do one fabric in every fit like we do now. Um, so I don't know, I, I appreciate that we uh, have expanded. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, and this is the same leather as the belt I'm wearing, actually. Uh, we've been doing this for so many years also. It's buffalo leather. It's 10 ounces per square yard. This one is also, I mean, this one looks even fatter. This has got to be like 11 or 12, maybe even. Um, with, you know, it's real skin, so it varies on where they cut it. But yeah, I think that that one's pretty cool. That's the four. Wait. Five is what Garrett is wearing now, really faded out. Uh, this is our first ever slubby elephant. So in the past, we, we've been trying, we, we're keeping everything simple. And one thing that I'm very proud of too is that we have kept the elephant prices like amazingly low. I think elephant one was like 160 bucks or even 150 bucks, which was really blowing people's mind. And all these elephants that, that I've shown you have been under $200 retail. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, Garrett's a tough guy and, uh, you know, he used to work for a boot company and just wore these and just beat the shit out of them. Got a bunch of repairs and wears and dirt and, Look at his uh, new bowl. yeah, I mean, you know, Garrett goes climbing in them and bouldering and all this uh, good uh, Canadian tough guy shit that he likes to do. Uh, and yes, they look pretty damn faded out. You can see how, how well the slubbiness fades. Uh, I mean, this is one of the reasons why we love slubby denim because of this beautiful vertical falling, because of all these bumps and, uh, and, and bruises and imperfections and, uh, um, you know, just things of beauty. You can see how dark it is too. Like it started very dark. Yeah, maybe even inside the fly. Yeah, like if you I'm look, gonna, I'm not gonna touch your fly. Maybe we shouldn't <laughs> expose that, but uh, yeah, if you look inside the fly, yeah, yeah, exactly. it's like very, let's very not, dark. Let's not, we'll, not, we'll not pull Garrett's pants We don't want to get, um, <laughs> Oh, we, uh, we, don't, yeah, we don't want to get, we don't want to get This is not monetized, but. No, no. 
you know what I mean? He, he is wearing underwear, though, so it should be, it would, it would have been okay. Uh, yeah, so those are the fives. Then we have uh, the sixes over here, which is the Supima elephant. So this is the first time that we... No, that's uh, the eight. Oh, this is eight. Oh, 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 six, oh, six we don't have. The so we don't have the six. Six was the, was the broken twill, right? Broken twill, so, and then we don't yeah. have the... The seven, which was the black. Yeah, version. that was the first ever and only ever black uh, by black elephant mm -hmm. that we ever did. So black war, black weft, also had a black leather patch on it. Um, so those are rad. We actually had some come back because like uh, a return from American Rag or one of these stores. And we had uh, a bunch uh, relatively recently. We had one group, this but morning. I, I sold out. We sold, we sent it out today. Mm, nice. So he had the last pair. Yeah, that's it. So, so we don't even have one in the archives, uh, you know, so... Uh, we're always ready to, you know, people want it, we will sell it. Uh, and then, yes, okay, so just like you said, so this is the eight, um, and this is the, this is the Supima uh, one. Um, and uh, what I love about this one is, is that it has a great texture. Supima cotton is an American cotton. It's a superior Pima, hence Supima. And uh, it's an extra long staple cotton. So this is the first time that, that we made an elephant, you know, messing around with an extra long staple cotton. So you have something that's really quite soft and comfy, but still like rigid and tough uh, at, the, at the same time. This one has also been worn, of course, and been faded out a bit and looks pretty neat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like the hardware on this one too. Mm. It's kind of patches kind of like it. a rough out leather patch on that one too. Yeah, that's right. So uh, I, I, I believe, uh, yeah, this, this one we sewed down on all four sides, but I believe, I, I believe we did a rough out or we, what we did is we did a reverse patch, I think. I think we took the natural vegetable tan leather and instead of stamping the full grain side, we stamped the split side um, so that you have that like softness. We thought that it would go theme in theme with the softness of the Supima and then you have like the softness of that furriness of the, of the patch. You can still make out the logo a little bit here, like if you catch the, the, the right light, but yeah, but this one's been pretty beat up and oiled and everything over, over the years, so. Um, that one looks like that. Here we have uh, the, uh, yeah, this is the nine. Oh, nine. Yeah. And uh, this is the jacket, I guess, we, I guess we didn't have a gene to show, but it's actually uh, a new, uh, was a new iteration of the five. So actually this is how how badly, uh, or, or how amazingly I should say, is Garrett has faded his gene out or how far it's gone, but the color is different. So this started off like as a more chemical black, similar to the, uh, like the elephant ones even really. Um, but then we did the Elephant 8 as a reissue of the Slubby one because we want to do another Slubby, but we wanted to change it up a little bit. So you have this more cowboy blue. You have this like 1950s blue. You can see it's like, it's really rich and interesting. Um, and it's called the wild blue. That's it, the wild blue elephant. Look at it compared to like the Elephant 1. You can see the color difference is super apparent between like a, uh, you know, a chemically dark indigo uh, versus this uh, cool cowboy indigo. Um, on the jacket we did, we, we do a thin leather patch because it would be ridiculous to have a 10 ounce leather patch at the uh, at the neck, but for the jeans, they had the same uh, 10 ounce vegetable tan leather patch. Uh, so those that was rad. Then we've got uh, this one here, which was the 10th um, elephant. So the elephant 10, and this was 19 ounces. By the way, all the elephants have been between 19 and 21 and 22 ounce. That's one of the themes and one of the things that we've kept the whole time. And so far, they've always been also 100% cotton. Um, and this one here, since it was the 10th anniversary, we decided to go with the gray interior. So first time ever with the gray interior, you saw we did a black one with the number fours. So the number 10s, we, we, we did that. And number 10 is kind of uh, like a 10th anniversary is a silver anniversary, they call it. So we did a silver uh, salvage as well. So I have a silver metallic yarn in there and then the silvery gray, I guess, uh, um, uh, weft. We did uh, also a vegetable tan leather patch because we love the way it fades. So we, we always do that. Um, and uh, yeah, this was available in all the fits and in the jacket too. Uh, so that's number 10. Then number 11, we had two different iterations of it. We had the number 11 and we had 11S. Uh, the 11 was the 100% cotton version and the 11S is the 98 uh, with 2% stretch. They both otherwise looked the same though. It was the same warp. Uh, the warp is of course the uh, the vertical yarns and the weft were, were, were a little bit different, but the weft is what's fucking amazing on these. Definitely one of the coolest wefts that we've ever done. And check it out, you have this grand dress weft it almost looks like you're looking at a television when you see that like uh you know static. So yeah static uh, blurriness uh when we were kids um and I, yeah, I just think it looks so rad. It's such a nice cuff flipper and it gives the exterior a really interesting look also because you have a slubbiness also also to it so 
it's 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 got everything it's all right sorry about that cut our camera ran out of memory on the memory card a uh, 2023 problem but we were talking about the elephant 11 and uh the elephant 11 is actually the second one to, uh, uh, to have a stretch version so we had the uh, elephant 11 and 11 s i forgot to mention before that the uh, elephant 10 did have also an it was the x for 10 and then we also had an xs which is the stretch version here we have the uh the the two percent stretch version we also did 100 percent cotton version of the 11 s and what's really beautiful is not just the slubbiness that you see in this really beautiful texture 20 ounces per square yard with the vegetable tan leather patch but the interior is what makes it kick ass uh ooh, uh that grand rail interior really nice to flip up the cuff it looks so cool kind of looks like the static from a television um you know when it's all blurry there like like uh, when you're trying to watch something no good as a kid uh it, it, it's a grand drill yarn which is a twisted yarn so you have like black and white and gray and these yarns are twisted up all, to, all together to make a new yarn uh i just think it looks really badass it looks cool for the covers but even if you don't cuff it you, you you see the grand drill through you see all those bits of uh black and white and gray color pop through and i don't know i just think it looks pretty cool i'm excited to see a faded and like ripped out pair of these that, uh, that it'll look pretty badass um so that is the 11 and the 11s and then finally, we have the one that just came out now. Uh, well, this is the classic. So this is a women's uh, sample of it, our, our first ever women's elephant. So I think that's pretty damn excited. This is the women's classic fit in a size 25. So it's a pretty small uh, jean, but we also do the natural vegetable tan leather patch. Of course, we have it in all the guys fits also, don't worry. Uh, this one is back to 100% cotton. It's 20 ounces per square yard, slubby as hell. What I really love, it's like, it's maybe like the slubbiest uh, uh, elephant that we've ever done and it's broken twill so you have uh, like a lot of interesting iterations you can see the broken twill more easily from the out from the inside of course you can see it a little bit from the outside too but when you combine slubbiness and broken twill i just think like that magic happens because the, the broken twill already adds a little bit of interesting texture and like weirdness to the surface appearance and then so does the slubbiness so yeah like you know you can't see the diagonal of the grain it just looks really interesting it will fade really interestingly i'm excited to see a pair of these get beat up and they're out very soon so Please uh, go grab yourself a pair. Should we do a side by side? Because these are the the slubby yarn, twenty ounce slubby yarn. Mm. And I, when I had these brand new, I remember them looking very similar to this in terms of like the color. That's right. I mean, what, what, what you're wearing is not broken twill, but whatever. It's not you broken can still twill, but it's going to yeah, be. You can still see the fading effect. The broken twill may be a little bit darker, just because it is broken twill. Um, but you know, there's kind of a rough before and after what you could expect depending on your lifestyle and depending how Give you a wear turn. Jeans. Let's see the back. Ooh, uh... So I wash these a lot because uh, I was wearing them for work at the time. They're getting super dirty. So it's more of a vintage fade. I don't have as much defined combs or anything. Um, but yeah, that's that's what you can look forward to. Check out the yeah. red. Check out the, check out the salvage. Okay. Ooh, uh... That's the faded salvage. Very nice. Cool. Well, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, guys. For the, the history lesson. There's a stack. Stack of elephants. So just a quick reminder, these guys are going to be dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time on tatanyoko.com. So make sure you head over, grab your pair. We have it coming in super guy, weird guy, easy guy, true guy at a later time, and the classic. So we're going to have and, a women's fit. And jacket. And jacket and jacket um so definitely do not wait on these i think they're going to be super popular and they are super cool and unique so again this friday 11 a.m eastern time tatanyoko.com terry what's the word of the day back to me so thanks again brand for the amazing gene journey from the denim maestro so a big thank you to everyone else here who's watching us and staying right to the end i have the word of the week right here today's bon mot kyo no hito koto wa Pupusa. Today's word is pupusa. That's right. The classic El Salvadorian Honduran treat. I love to get pupusas when I'm down here in Montreal. I munch on them when I can. So pupusa is the word of the week. I love to see it. I expect to see it in the comments. So a huge thank you to all of you there. And I'll be looking forward to seeing your orders. Cool. Thanks, Terry. So I will remind you guys one more time that today is the very last day of the sale of our Labor Day sale. So make sure you head over grab uh, all those great deals because tomorrow the sale will be over but if you are watching this at a later date do not worry we do have the canadian thanksgiving black friday and boxing day sales coming up and uh until then we'll be working really hard shipping out all of your guys's orders thanks for tuning in make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys in the next one bye